Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti, working as Oracle Fusion Techno Function Consultant. So in today's video, we will discuss one of the ticket issues related to GL module. So the ticket number is T102 and the ticket description is account value provided in the account segment value is not visible in the LOV while creating the manual journal. But the same is accepting the journal if imported through FBDI file. Means, while creating the manual journal, in the list of values, there is some account value which is available in the account segment values, but it is not visible while creating the manual journal. But with the same account value, they are able to create the journal if they are importing through the FBDI file. What can be the reason behind this issue is account value is restricted for manual journals so there's only single way where we can restrict any account value for creating the manual journals so we can apply this restriction on any value in the account segment through third party control account attribute so where you can find this third party control account attribute so in the next slide we will see the screenshots so at the manage value level, you can see the attributes. This is summary, allow posting, allow budgeting account type. And there is one more attribute that is third party control account. Here, when you will apply this restriction on this value, then this value will not be visible in the list of values when you will try to create the manual journal by using this value. So you can see here we have an option available that is restrict GL manual journals. So when you apply this restriction on this value, then this value will not be available at the time of creating the manual journals. If you want to create the journal for this value, then you have to do it through the FBDI file. So this is the third party control account attribute and here I have applied restriction on two values. One is 11300 that is for short term investment and another one is 11200 that is for cash. Now when I will try to create the manual journal by using these values then at the time of creating manual journal in the list of values I won't be able to see these values because I have applied the restriction on these values. After applying the restriction you have to deploy the flex field and this should be the status of your deployment and now we will move to our application and we'll try to create the manual journal with these values. First, go to Setup and Maintenance. Then go to Financial Reporting Structures and from here go to Chart of Account Structure Instance. Then here search for General Ledger Module. Now click on Manage Structure Instance, then click on Search. And here we will uh, search for our Chart of Account Structure Instance. Click on Edit icon. Then go to corporate account value set code. Then click on manage values and here click on search. You can see here I have applied the restriction on these two values that is 11200 and 11300. These are restricted for GL manual journals. And now I will try to create manual journal with these values. For creating the manual journals, you have to go to the navigator and from uh, here you have to go to the general accounting workbench area. So this is the general accounting workbench area. Go to the journals. In the task panel, click on create journal. And you can see the source manual. Now, give the journal batch here. In the category, let's take it as adjustment. 
and here you have to provide the account value for the uh, this journal now when you go to the account segment you won't be able to see those values that is 11200 and 11300 because we have we have applied the restriction on these values for creating the manual journals click on search so it is not available and then click on 11300 and then click on search and this value is not available so when you are applying the restriction on these values at the chart of account structure level that is at the time of creating the managed values you have provided the attribute third party control on this value then you won't be able to create the manual journals with these values now if i want to create the journals with using these values i have to go through this spreadsheet that is fbdi file now this is the fbdi file that i have already downloaded and uh, i filled out the mandatory details so the status is new this is the ledger id this is the transaction date this is the journal source that is spreadsheet and here you can see that I have selected these two values. The values on which I have put the restriction for the manual journals, the same values I am taking while creating the journals through the FBDI file. So I have already generated the CSV file for uh, this journal. And now I will upload the same in the application. For that, you have to go to the schedule processes. Click on schedule new process. Click on search here. And you have to search for the process load interface file for import. Click on search here. Click on OK. And here you have to select the import process. So we have to import journal. So we will search for the process that is import journal. And here we have to upload our CSV file. This is the file. Click on open and then click on OK. And then click on submit. Now refresh this page. So you can see the status here succeeded for this uh, process that we have submitted. And now again, go to schedule new process. And now we have to run the process that is import journal. Click on OK here and uh, you can see the description that is creates journal entries from imported information from subledgers and other source system. Click on OK. And this is the data access set. Here you have to select the source. So while creating the journal through the FBDI file, we have selected the spreadsheet as journal source. So here you have to select the spreadsheet. And here it has selected the ledger by default that is US primary ledger and in the group IDs you can select 
the group ID specifically or you can run this process for all the group IDs. So while creating the FBDI file for uh, journals, I have provided the group ID. You can see here that is interface group identifier. Please enter a number which can be used for grouping of journals. During import runs, you have the option to load journals selectively by group ID. So I have provided the group ID that is 8602516. And I will run this process specifically for this group ID. Now click on submit. And let's check uh, the status of the process that we have submitted. You can see the status succeeded for import journals and import journal child. Now let's move back to the journal workbench area and there we can see the journals that we have imported through FPDI file. Click on manage journal. And here we will take the source as spreadsheet. And you can see this is the journal that we have imported through FBDI file. This is the description, this is the journal, this is the journal batch and this is the description. So let me show you the same in the uh, FBDI file. Two one six seven two one six seven. This was the amount that we have given in the FBDI file 2167 and now click on post here your process has been submitted click on cancel You can see the status now as posted. So while creating the manual journal with these account values, system was uh, not showing these values in the list of values. But while creating the journals through the spreadsheet, system accepted this because we have applied this restriction on these values. So these values will not be used while creating the manual journals. But through the spreadsheet, you can upload the journals using these values. So this was the solution of uh, the ticket 102. Thank you so much for uh, watching the video. Have a nice day.